starting with this application called SaveUp. It can serve as your personal savings tracker for things like buying a new phone, planning a new trip, or just an emergency fund. You can create custom saving plans for all of that and log deposits or withdrawals. And the cool part is the visual progress tracking. You can see exactly how close you are, how many days are left, and even group multiple goals. And because it is built with Material U, it is color adaptive with clean theming and dark mode. Plus, it supports all currencies and works offline with local backups, which makes it flexible for everyone. And it's free to install. It was actually created by the same developer of Everplan. So, shoutouts to the developer for creating such beautiful application and also for reaching out and suggesting this application. So, back in August this year, Google released a dedicated password manager application, which makes it easier and more convenient for users to view and manage their saved passwords and pass keys. Well, meet MasterKey, an offline first password manager, and unlike cloud based options, MasterKey keeps everything from passwords, payment cards, crypto keys all stored only on your device. It supports local encryption, it has a built-in password generator, and even lets you organize logins into collections. The good thing about this application is you get to set a master password to secure the application from unauthorized access. So you have to enter a password anytime the application is launched. There are no ads, no trackers, no servers, just your data, offline with full control, and it's free to install. And you might think the UI looks familiar. Well, that is because it was created by the same development team that created Pixel Bookmarks, which is also my go-to bookmark application. If you are into photography, check out Green, which is a pro camera application built on Google's Camera X framework, but has a real-time OpenGL pipeline that lets you preview photos exactly as they'll be captured. And there's a growing library of film presets and can really come in handy. If you want to take golden hour shorts or retro style, you get all that. You can also tweak grain, tones and colors to make your own films. And aside filters, it works just like a camera application with all the necessary controls. I have tried several minimal launcher applications and while most of them come in a similar style, this one called Hype Launcher stands out pretty well. It's very fluid and modern, clean and lightweight, balancing speed with productivity, it has essentials like a built-in clock widget, definitely, and a quick app shortcut. You can pin applications to the home screen, swipe left for a built-in to-do list, swipe up for a customizable app drawer. You get lots of customization options in the settings too. Everything is clean and fluid. There are privacy features too, like biometric app locking and usage stats. Plus, you can even add friction delays to stop yourself from instantly launching distracting applications. You can enable focus mode and select which applications to use. Digital well-being, developer panel, all form part of this launcher. Moving on, due to my obsession with clean and simple applications, I've fallen on this application called Countly for planning ahead and creating countdowns. It is pretty simple and straightforward. Setup and customization is fast and everything stays local on your device. It is lightweight, minimal, comes in light and dark themes and it's easy to toggle in between. The only thing lacking is a home screen widget. And well, since this application is fairly new as at the time of this video, I hope it is added in the future. Honestly, cleaning your photo gallery can be such a pain, especially if you have tons of unwanted photos and videos. Clean Sweep fixes that with a Tinder style swipe system. With a modern Material U interface, the application creates an environment for letting go of your gallery mess. It loads all your folders with images or videos, tap the checkbox next to a particular folder to begin, swipe right to keep, swipe left to delete. The app can also extract stills from videos, detect duplicates, and even group similar photos together. It is open source and 100% offline. If you are more into sound than visuals, Bass Booster Pro is a quick way to supercharge your audio. It has a bass booster, equalizer and loudness enhancer that works with any music player or streaming application. It's especially good with headphones or car systems where you want that extra punch. The UI is simple, lightweight and gets the job done without overcomplicating things. For your home screen, Life Widget adds beautiful minimalist widgets that track remaining percentage for the current day, month and year. And you can have the widget on your home screen. Aside those, you get to create a customized countdown which can also be added to the home screen 
whether it's a countdown to a wedding, days since an anniversary, or even a year-long progress toward a big goal. You can set it in different formats. Customization goes deep, you can change backgrounds, fonts, colors, and even add your own photos. With Material Player, which is a new utility application launched in July. In fact, I call this the best of the new useful ones. This application breeds form and function well done. So if you've been wishing for a good video player, which aside local videos can also stream online videos, then feel free to install this one. Clean folder arrangement, supports picture in picture, playback gestures, volume boosts and more, and there are no ads and it's free to install. For offline music play applications, there are tons with better functionalities and all. However, most of them still maintain their current UI with just minor updates from time to time. And while we are in the Material 3 Expressive era, check out Pixel Play. Also first released in a few months back, and I think I saw it on X posted by Assemble Debug. So shoutouts to him. Function-wise, this application, of course, you get to play your local music. It supports lyrics, creation of new playlists, Plus, you get to generate a new playlist using Gemini AI. You can adjust the folders selected. And on the UI front, it has pretty clean animations, well designed with all the big buttons. So if for just these, you can be satisfied with an offline music play application, then this is free and open source. Although it lacks a whole lot, sleep timer, equalizer, gapless playback and more, but it's the first beta release as at the time of this video, so we'll cut it some slack. It's just the Material 3 expressive design making waves for it. Lotus is another clean and simple offline music player application I love. First released in January this year, it's pretty solid this one. And it's open source, the tabs are cleanly organized and easy to navigate. Plus, you can reorder them. It supports new playlist creation, sleep timer, and has a built-in equalizer. If you prefer function over fancy form, then you should use this one. It's modern too compared to other simple offline music player applications with old boring interfaces. The next app is called One URL. This one had a fresh update in July of this year, but was released first way back in 2023. And when it comes to URL shortening, this should be your go-to application. You can create custom aliases and descriptions, plus you can choose from different shortening services, which is great. And on top of that, you can also quickly generate QR codes adjust the looks and it's easy to save and share. And it's got a pretty neat user interface as well. The next app is called Taskfolio. This isn't my go-to to-do application, but I love its simplicity. You can create task lists or categories which shows up on the homepage and then you add your tasks inside them. It looks similar to Google Tasks, so it's familiar. And speaking of Google Tasks, you can sync and have access on this application once you sign in. Plus, Taskfolio is open source. Moving on, Pomodoro is a clean time application you should check. And of course, it works simply as a timer and comes with some presets for short and long breaks, poker sessions and more. Background music while the timer runs is also included, plus a few customization options. You can see your stats as well. And since the introduction of Material 3 Expressive Design, many applications have jumped on board and still on timer applications Tomato is a well-designed modern timer application, of course on the Material 3 expressive design style. And it's just nice glancing at it. It also comes with timer presets for focus and break times, which you can switch in between right here, and you can also set your own time too, and customize the alarm. And speaking of Material 3 expressive, this widget pack called M3 Expressive Widgets has all the widgets you need to make your phone feel the latest design style on Android. You get so many widgets in different categories, including the ones that are responsive to size readjustments on the home screen. The clean, squiggly rounded corners and big buttons being the trademark of the Material 3 Expressive Design runs through all the widgets in this pack. And so if you are a fan, it can work on any Android device and even on tabs as well. So feel free to grab it and create some amazing setups. Next on the list is Oceans of AI. And personally, this application is a real lifesaver. It is filled with tons of AI tools from popular ones to new ones which are all free to access and most of them even not requiring an account. You simply tap, it takes you to the site, you just make use of it and that is it. You can mark some as favorites and the search icon is pretty useful. Let's say you want an AI writing tool, 
you just start typing writing and it will bring up all the available ai writing tools same for music image and more the app is totally free and runs without ads it really needs to be appreciated seriously it's a real gem if you're big on privacy privacy is an application that contains a bunch of open source tools arranged neatly in various categories you get open source calendar applications emailing applications file sharing apps password managers and more you just tap on what you want and you get direct access to the service plus you can search for tools as well next up is binary sweeper this application enables a fast way to free up space on your phone and it's very simple to use you just choose to scan and you get duplicate and unnecessary files as a result which you can then go ahead and delete you get to see in detail how much space it is saving you and similar to binary sweeper we have whatsapp cleaner and this one goes specific on your whatsapp files to be honest data from your whatsapp usage takes more space than you think so with this application it digs into your whatsapp directory once you allow the permission you'll notice how much space these whatsapp files take especially videos and documents you can then go ahead and select files to delete pretty simple plus it is free and open source moving on you can turn raw photos into amazing professional looks with this application called glit and for my usage it's been super useful it's got filters adjustment tools leaks blur effects greens perfects for editing your photos if you've loved using snapseed and pixart once you try this application you will never go back and it's easy to use another incredible image editing application i love is called film simulator and this one comes with tons of filters in several categories letting you create different kinds of looks for your photos very useful on images you take raw with your camera the filters with your previews comes in handy photographers will definitely love this application it is free with no ads and it's open source and still on images we have adima which is a great photo enhancement tool and that is just it you add an image and the app upscales it to a much higher quality it takes a while though but the output is incredible so you can just have this application to enhance low quality photos and again it is free to install with no in-app purchases of course there have been some useful android applications released this year and these are just a few that i still have on my phone so let me know down in the comment section if you also know some new applications that you want me to check out and i'll definitely do a part two of this video again consider subscribing to the channel if you found this video useful and let's hit our 500 likes targets for this video and as always thank you for watching